What really motivates you to do business with a carrier or an ISP? Is it just the data service or do those additional perks sway your decision making? Let's chat real quick about streaming bundles. Before we get too far into the conversation of this video, I'm gonna need you to do that thing where you look just under what you're watching and you click on those buttons because you wanna stay up to date on everything that we're producing here at reviews.org. I've been recording a few videos for this team. I'm still kind of getting the lay of the land on the people that are watching these videos. And two things happened very recently at reviews.org that just, it got me thinking about a question to ask to the community here. The first, Craig just recently put out a great breakdown on the top 10 streaming services in 2021. Highly recommend going to check that video out because it's a great breakdown of the various services and the kinds of plans that they have to offer and the content on each service. But the second thing was a little more industry wonky. A T-Mobile just recently made an announcement that they're going to be ending T-Vision, their, their sort of television streaming service, and a number of their other little applets and add-ons, and instead, they're going to be offering better perks with Google services like YouTube TV and then using Google Messenger for their RCS messaging app. All of the extra effort, the infrastructure, the licensing agreements that goes into making some type of video distribution platform, increasingly as we see a, a variety of streaming services pop up, is that really worth it for a carrier or an ISP to be putting that many resources as a perk for their customers. But especially after the last year we've had, this is the right time to do a little comparative shopping and make sure you're getting the best bang for your buck. And maybe doing business with a cell phone carrier that only offers a simplified service or maybe they have some kind of prepaid plan might make more financial sense when you're really adding up the pros and cons. Or when you're looking at your family's finances, are you looking at some kind of easier to manage family plan and maybe that includes some perks like reduced cost on your favorite streaming service. So we really want to hear from you. When, when you're putting together your sort of family finances, when you're looking at what services make the most sense for you, how are you weighing those pros and cons? Are you looking at all the perks? Are you starting with just the data and connectivity? And what finally kind of pushes you over the edge in going with one company over another? But of course, if you're looking for that resource to really check out cell phone coverage, cable distribution, broadband, Fios, uh, make sure you check out the website, reviews.org. I know the videos we make here, super legit, very entertaining. I'm really fun to watch, but that website, great collection of resources to also help you in your decision-making process. For reviews.org, I am Juan Carlos Bagnell, AKA Some Gadget Guy. Thank you so much for watching, for sharing these videos, subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you all on the next video.